Morganarn. While you gather your people, I will find the Inquisitor. And Rook, I wish you great luck. Elgernon just caused an eclipse. The gods can finish their dagger. We need to move now. But we were supposed to have weeks to prepare. How much time do we actually have? It's not weeks, I can tell you that much. The eclipse is slowly forcing an alignment between the stars and powerful currents in the Fade. Which means what? I'm afraid we've only a few hours until the gods complete their dagger. Lucanus is right. We have to go, now. No time to scrape up an army, even if we had one. You think we're enough? What will we be facing on the island? There's gonna be blight crap. And where there's blight, dark spawn. Right. Tearstone Island's also crawling with the entire Antom army. They've had time to prepare. It'll be brutal. So will the gods. We're walking right into their lair. We may not all make it out again. But there's no one else I'd rather do this with. No one. So let's stop the gods. Whatever it takes. We're with you. The gods won't leave that island. No matter what. No matter what. Then we leave as soon as we can. Fortunate we weren't spotted coming in. A lot of dreadnoughts. One shot is all it takes. Now we just have to deal with that. Morgan didn't exaggerate. That's the entire Antom army over there. At least the gods are taking us seriously. I could have lived without that. The gods will know we're here soon. And so will the Antom. We need a distraction. One team to draw off that army, and another to stop the gods from finishing their dagger. I'll take half the team and cause some trouble down by the Antom ships. Wait, I'm the scout. I can get us around this place faster. There'll be Blight farther up, Harding. And Darkspawn. I've fought them before, and I've got the stone on my side. Lace? Hold on. Someone has to do this, Tosh. So who will it be? Davern's right. We need a Grey Warden and a Griffin in the lead. Won't let you down. Either of us. I'll take the rest of us and get to the gods before they finish their dagger and cut open the Fade. Once we're in place, Lucanus will take Solus's dagger and ambush Gilanane. Elgernon's pet. One problem at a time. As long as he has that archdemon, he's invulnerable. Concentrate on Gilanane first. We kill her, take the god's dagger, then deal with Elgernon. Good luck, Rook. Let's make some history. Good luck, and thanks. Deverin. Just like you said in the lighthouse, Rook. We stop the gods, whatever it takes. Quickest path ahead, but we might reach the gods before we're spotted. There. That must be where the gods are making the dagger. Not if we have anything to say about it. Well, 
so much for that. We can't let them warn the others. Look out! Look out. Human mercenaries. The Antam aren't taking any chances. Sounds like a lot more Antom across the bay. What are they saying? Something about Gillenane giving them world crushing power? Sounds like Davern's team found the Antom. I hope they're all right.
mercenaries again. They have mages. We can make quick work of this. heard Elgernon. Lusakon. He said my name. Rook, 
what I said before. I want things to go our way, I do. I know. Just find a way out. Can you do that, Trouble? I can if you can. What did this place used to be? Good question. Looks like it was abandoned until the Ontum camped out. Another group of mercenaries! We can't let them slow us down. Getting closer. The gods finish their dagger, open the fate, and unleash all the blight. Even Solus was terrified of that. How could anyone want this? How far gone are these gods? Getting closer to where the gods are making their dagger. Stone a 
Frost Wielder to Venter Train. There are others. Find them. Bring us what remains. Damn. This is bad. We have to hurry. The Ontem will be looking everywhere after hearing that. Davrin! Rook, over here. Davrin, you all right? For now. We burned some Antom ships, led them off. But there's another wave coming. Can you open the way out of here? Sure thing. Let me take a look. Moranta. We'll lead them away. Be careful. We'll meet you above. We can't let him. Hey. Oh, more blight on this side. More on, Tom, too. Solus's dagger. Our power. 
cannot be interrupted by mortal. I will send my creation to assist your Oh no, dark spawn. See that flash of green light? That's a tear in the fade. A fade tear? Are we too late to stop the gods? The gods might be close, but they'd be gloating if they'd finished their dagger. We kill Gilanane and steal that dagger, then Elganon can't unleash the blight. Tears blocking the way. We have to set it off. Thank <laughs> you. 
Tom coming your way. We can't hold them forever. Do what you can. Meet us inside that building ahead. More blight in the way. We've got to clear it out to get to the gods. They're on to us. Fates. Remember to keep your distance. Good work. Move fast. Don't just stand there. Another fade tear. Oceans of magic are coursing around us because of the gods' ritual. Then we'd better find Gilanane. Quickly. Wait, wait, wait. There are wards blocking the way out. Blood magic. One touch could kill. How do we get through? Ideas? Patterns are familiar. If I can fracture the harmonics, we could get through. Maybe. I deal with blood magic. 
I can stop the damage long enough to burn out the wards. That's risky, Nev. Really risky. I can't ask you to do that. Your way is just as dangerous. Don't like it, but one of us has to do it. This is your territory, Ballara. Just go slow. I'll be careful. I'll keep this Fade Tear in check while you work, but with things so unpredictable, I fear anything might happen once we kill Gillanane. Solus warned me that there'd always be costs and consequences to fighting gods. But if we kill Gillanane, snatch the god's dagger and escape, maybe we prove him wrong. I dearly hope so. And there! Great work. Thanks. Hey, be careful. The gods might know we're here now. That is a certainty. Blara! The Elvin are a scattered people, but fret not. I shall bring your mage gently back into our fold. You can all be forgiven by embracing the wisdom of surrender. Continue, and even the dread wolf will regret what I do to his pawn. Come on! Elgernon and Gillanine are still on the island. If we move fast, we might get Ballara back. Damn it! Hold on, Bell! The gods know we're coming, but they still need to finish their dagger. Then we should split their attention. Right. Half the team comes with me on the main path. Davrin, you and the others stay out of sight and get Lucanus to the ritual. Then after he kills Gillanane, we rescue Ballara. All this magic, it feels like a storm. Which means Elganard's almost completed the dagger. Where's Gillanane? On the move. Spike can feel her hunting for us. Keep your heads. Follow the plan. We'll kill Gillanane. We'll get our friend back, and then... Then we kill Elgernon. We'll distract Gillanane until Lucanus gets a clear shot. Good luck, Davrin. Like I promised. Whatever it takes. It's all yours. As is Gillanane. I see her. Not soon enough, Grey Warden. Don't let her get there. Catherine! He hears you not.
Solus is cunning. Persuasive. He is loyal to nothing but his own fears.
I'm good. Thanks, Rook. Ow! Trapped by the past, just like Solus. You had your chance, each one of you. And we don't owe you a thing!
No. We had such plans. Oh, good. with Gilanade. So you have your victory. You live, and Gelanane does not. Are you not proud to finally reach this moment? Or did you think you'd win the day without some painful sacrifice? <laughs> Your friends stood against the gods. Your courage is laudable. Solus. But mortals cannot win this battle. I am sorry it is what must be. I saved you, Rogue. What was the point? You were never up to it. You're worthless. Varric never believed in you. You are no leader. You failed us all. What failure cuts your conscience now, I wonder? Laura! Your friend is dead. Dead and gone. It was your fault. Your fault. Regret, like all emotions, is a powerful thing. It can bruise us, break us, or blind us to the truth. Regret is even strong enough to serve as the lock on a prison built to hold gods. But such a prison can hold any captive. Even you. Uh, no! You were never ready to make the sacrifices that leadership requires. So through our connection, I molded you into someone the prison would accept in my place. Eric? Your work is done. where we talked when I was dreaming. But I'm not dreaming. There has to be some way out of here. Just have to find it. 
I have to get back to the team. he's not. So how do I get out? Solas said this prison was built to hold gods. Built to hold gods. And locked with regret. He said... I'm sorry to make you sad, but I told you the enchantments were dangerous. You chose me anyway. to die. You're right. You're my friend, Blara. But we had to get those wards down. I made a choice. I live with the choices I make, the successes and the failures. We all believed in what we were fighting for, what we're still fighting for. And Ballara knew what it might cost. She did, kid. We all did. Because you always chose the hard truth over the easy lie. Solus, on the other hand, Everyone's a pawn to someone like Solus. Pieces to sacrifice, without a second thought. Tafrin. Whatever it takes. That's what you told us. And you live that every day. You helped me rescue the Griffins, got them to Arlethan. You asked a lot of us, the team. But you asked even more of yourself. And after everything you've done, it was my turn to make the sacrifice. And I'd do it again. I'm going to miss you, Davrin. We fought together, bled together. And any time I needed you, you were there. And now you're gone. And the fight's not over. So I promise you this. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to stop Elgernon. And I'm going to stop Solus. I'll save the world, Davrin. And make sure your sacrifice was worth it. Great job, kid. Now... What about mine? That's... Where it all began. What am I going to see there? I think you already know.
Come on, Varric. We didn't come all this way just to talk to him. He was my friend, Rook. I gotta try to reach him. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. You need to listen! Solis killed you. His friend. You tried to talk to him, to reason with him. And he cut you down. Pretty sure he didn't mean to. Doesn't matter. You're still dead. Yeah. Sorry about that, kid. You know, I think I knew the truth deep down. But I couldn't face it. Why not? Because it would mean admitting that I let you die. Shit. Didn't you learn anything from this place? I made the choice. To talk to him. To try to reach him. Even knowing the risks. Because he was my friend. My decision, my sacrifice. And you don't get to take that from me. But... Every story's got an ending. This one just... came a little earlier than I'd planned. All this time, Harding and Nev... Why didn't anyone tell me? They thought you knew. You're the only one that wasn't in on it. But they talked to you, I remember. Nope. They talk to you, or to themselves. You just filled in the blanks. Time to finish this story. Your story. I just know the ending's going to be killer. What happens now? To you? I'll disappear. Go back to just being a memory. Right. Hey, don't get all misty-eyed on me, okay? I had a good run, and I don't regret a second of it. What about Solus? You talked to Mythal. You saw the memories. Solus wants to be a hero. That's who he is, deep down. But it's easier for him to play the villain. Because that means he didn't fail. All the damage he's done, the people he's hurt, it becomes a choice. Remind him who he really is. He might just listen. So how do I get out of here? Listen to your team. 
Like you always do. This way. It's thinner here. Better be right. They're waiting for you. Just take it one step at a time. Goodbye, Varric. And thank you. Rook! Looking forward to seeing how it turns out. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. You already have everything you need. There! A light! We've got something. Get ready. I am Elganon, first of the firstborn, last of the Evanuris. Come to reign over you with fine and gentle hand. Citizens of Minrathus, give yourself to me. Together we shall unleash magic so glorious, so limitless, that all the world will be transformed. He seized control of the Archon's palace? While the Magisterium was in full session, only the Venatori seem to have survived. How are the Shadow Dragons? Still fighting, last we heard. But Elgernon's blighted the city, and the Venatori have sealed the gates. No one can get in or out. Even the city's Alluvians went dark. We've got no way to contact the Shadow Dragons. They'd be dead already if not for Solus. Solus? He got to Minrathis just before the gates were sealed. He saved some civilians and killed some Venatori. Now, everyone's following Solus, like he's the only one who can save them. He's using the Shadow Dragons and anyone else he can to give him a clear shot at Elgernon. And he finishes his ritual and the whole world drowns in demons. He can't hurt Elgernon yet. That archdemon makes him invulnerable. So Solus has to kill it first. And once that's done, Solus goes for Elgernon with the dagger he took from us. That's why we need to get to Solus first. He's not going to be happy when he sees you've escaped from his trap. That's his problem. He's got the dagger, and the dagger is the only thing that can kill Elgernon. We need to get it back. We did attempt to create a dagger to replace the one Solus took. Nice to look at, but it can't cut through enchantments like the real thing. So it cannot kill Elgernon. Looks real enough. But it is not. We don't have the right weapon to take down our target, and we lost too much killing Gilanane. We have no idea where Bellara is, or what Elgernon is doing to her. And Davron and Asan are... If Bellara were here, she'd tell us there's still work to do. And Davron would already have Asan in the air. They're not here to finish this. But because of their sacrifice, we are. So let's do it for them. Get a message to anyone who's still out there. Tell them we're gonna stop Elgernon and we need their help to do it. Then fix up your gear and take care of any unfinished business. In the morning, we take back Minrathis. Thank you all for coming. If we don't stop Elgernon today, our world is either dead or blighted.
So we keep fighting until the job is done. It's gonna be hard. There's no guarantee any of us will make it. We're with you, Rook. Elgernon dies today. Whatever it takes. Strife. News? Our scouts confirm Elgernon is inside the Archon's palace. There's a giant tendril of blight tethering it to the Divine's Manor in Hightown. Then that's our goal. Breach the city walls and get to that tendril. Emric, can we count on Mornwatch support? The Watchers, living and otherwise, will stand with us. Every remaining Grey Warden will be there too. The Antiven crews are ready to pay their respects. And the Lords of Fortune will be there for gold and glory. The Veil vale Jumpers have been in this since the beginning, and will be there for the end. Solus is our first target. Without his dagger, we can't kill Elgernon. Our scouts last spotted him working with the Shadow Dragons in the western section of Hightown. Okay, we go in through Hightown. How? Minrathus was built to fight off an army, even before Elgernon reinforced the defenses. Every gate will be guarded. Worse than that. Our scouts reported that the Venatori sealed all the gates with those damn warding crystals. Can the Veil Jumpers disable them? Venatori magic won't be a problem. It's still likely to take time. You may need assistance or someone to protect you while you unravel the wards. Emmerich, I want you helping the Veil Jumpers. Of course. The Venatori at that gate will be commanded by a war mage. That's how they usually operate. If we get rid of the commander, the rest of the Venatori will scatter. Can the crows cut the head off the snake? Contract accepted. There's gonna be a lot of guards between you and her. The lords can clear you a path. And one of us should be there as well. Lucanus, how'd you like to kill a Venatori mage? It would be my pleasure. One last thing might give the crows some trouble. There's a massive construct tall enough to crush buildings. It's guarding the main gate. A juggernaut. Giant siege constructs built to withstand the Anton. Or anyone else who came calling. We're gonna need our heaviest forces against that juggernaut. Evka? The Grey Wardens have fought ogres and archdemons. We can handle this. The Morn Watch will lend aid, but against something as large as this juggernaut, we'll require further assistance. Rook? Tosh, you're with the Wardens. Right. Harding. Nev. You're with me. We make a run at the gate, get inside, and find Solus. The rest of you, get to the Blight Tendril. Once we've got the dagger, we'll meet you there. And take the fight to Elgernon. I believe in this team, in all of us. So let's get it done. We go on my signal.
It was close at the gate, but we're getting through. They did their job. Now, let's do ours.
Let's find Solus. The last report said he was helping the Shadow Dragons. Then let's track down the Shadow Dragons. Oh, Lady of Victory. The poor girl's not looking victorious right now. Get ready for a dark spawn. Predatory, too. used to fill this plaza. They sold expensive pastry and overpriced jewelry. Now, look at it. The senator has finally got their victory. Fought Lucanis. And there he is, the demon of Virantium. At your service. They and I will return to the Crows and help with the fight through the city. You go after Solas. We spotted him. He's not far ahead. That way, quickly. All right. Taya said Solus should be up ahead. Let's find him. It just keeps getting worse. I heard Solus was helping the Shadow Dragons. It'd be even worse without him.
Get out of my city! Masha! Did we win? You're lucky your head's so damn hard. Tarquin! Viper! You're alive! Thanks to Solus. He's been the only thing between us and Elganon. Stay with them. I'm going to talk to Solus. You are as surprising as ever. Even I could not have escaped that prison for you to manage it. Varric believed in me when nobody else did. He was a good man. He was always there for me. Except that he wasn't. Because you killed him. What happened at the ritual site? I know what happened. I remember the truth now. You did something to my mind to make me keep seeing him. Yes. I was wrong to do so. You knew Varric was dead the whole time. You kept pushing me not to see it. Why? How? I was desperate. Unless I escaped, the world would fall to tyranny and blight. The only tool I had was my tenuous connection to you. Blood magic. As I said, I was wrong. You know what the worst part is? Part of me was excited about proving myself to the Dreadwolf. Rook. That's how you do it, right? You get people so eager for those little scraps of approval that they never see the knife coming. I... am sorry. I betrayed you because I believed that only I could save this world. But I have failed, Rook. I have not stopped Elganon. I have not even defeated his Archdemon. The victories that have been won since Elganon and Gilanane escaped are yours, not mine. If we are to save this world, we must work together. You've got to be kidding me. You just finished apologizing for the last time you betrayed me. I know. I cannot change the past. How stupid do you think I am? The best possible version of this is that we kill Elgernon, and then you finish your ritual and drown the world in demons. If joining me and stopping Elgernon requires the veil to stay in place, then I will pay that price unflinching. I swear by my own foolish pride, by love for friends I failed and hurt, by everything I ever held as sacred. I will leave the veil untroubled. It will never come down by my hand. Now, if you will come with me, I can show you what has prevented me from reaching Elganan. And you can tell me your plan. We were trying to get to the Divine's Manor in the center of the city. And the Blight Tendril connecting to the Archon's Palace. Yes, I thought the same. But some intelligence guides the Tendrils. It has prevented me from getting closer. If you accompany me, I can finish. Apologizing for the last time I betrayed you.
Enemies ahead, a lot of them. Better see if they've heard the legends of the Dreadwolf. Be gone, Darkspawn! to be. his armies with the cruel and the brutal. No brilliant tacticians, only those he can dominate and those who wish to become like him. But you, Rook, your team is made for the clever, the wise, and the loyal. You honored their strengths to make them yours. And that is why you are going to defeat him. Obey and destroy!
intelligence Elganan has set to direct the blight. We are not far from it. Beyond the blight there, perhaps. Do you feel it? The blight reacts to my presence. There! That must be the source of whatever intelligence guides it. If you can destroy the mind guiding the blight, we may be able to reach the palace. I can accompany you no further. My presence will only draw the blight to you. Defeat the Archdemon. Once Elganon is mortal, the final blow must be yours. I can think of no one better to wield this. I thought I'd have to fight you for that dagger. Then this has been a day of surprises for us both. Good luck! When next we meet, let us be standing over Elganon's body! All right, Solus takes down the Archdemon. That makes Elgern on mortal, so we kill him with Valyrium Dagger. But first... Come on, we have to get to Valara! <laughs>
kills Elgrion and survive. <laughs> It was... it was all I could hear. It was my mind, but he made me want to help him. It's okay. You're free now. You're safe. None of us are safe. Once Elgernon is dead... Wait! You can't kill Elgernon yet. If you do... Look out! Morgan! 
again. <laughs> Quickly now. Destiny is a heavy burden to bear. And growing heavier by the moment. <laughs> Not my first giant monster. Apologies for missing the War Council. We got inside the city with the Veil Jumpers. It gave us a chance to finally strike back at the Venatori. Whatever you did unblocked entrances to the Divine's Manor. It also destroyed some of the Blight. It'll come back. I can still feel it. I don't think I'm the only mage he used like this. Valara, you're alive. Rook freed me, but I learned things when I was in that blight eruption. We need to talk. We will. But first, we need to get you to a healer. We'll take care of her. Thanks. I'll join you in a bit. Just want to check on everyone else coming in. <laughs> While we still have time. <laughs> Nivaris, it's good to see you. We're so close. Minrathis will be liberated. First from the old gods, then from Tevinter's old rule. I never doubted we had a chance, but it's good to have you here. Even gods may die. We have every confidence in your plan. Those who fell in our fight lie in the next room. They will be taken to grave or pyre once our battle has ended, as their beliefs dictate. For now, they wait, and we attend them. If you wish to pay your respects, please enter. Your dance. Is that a... Rook, the Venatori brought death to Minratus. We've made many of them pay, but they still owe us a balance. You take care of Elgarnan. We'll keep after his remaining followers on the ground. Minratus, all of Thedas, will remember the crows on this day. 
Let's see this done. Got some civilians out. Hate to admit it, but Solus really came through for us. Now it's just Elgonarm we have to deal with. We'll watch the streets. You rip that god from his throne. Bring the light. Watch yourself up there. It's been years since I fought in a battle like this. The Crows defeated the Venatori at the gates thanks to you and the Lords. The pleasure was all mine. I got to dust off the daggers for good people. Rest up while you can. You'll need it. I told the Shadow Dra We've all had enough of Elgernon's tyranny. Be sure to silence him. The Archdemon will fall. Rook, it's been a hard fight to get here and against stranger foes than we imagined. It's almost the end now. We have this hook. I know it. Rook, stand firm and watch Liz Harding's back. Go finish this. When this is done, you'll be off again? Tis almost time for this story to end. Are you ready to write the final chapter? She'll find a way. Of that, I have no doubt. Get out there and do what you do best. You've got this. was in my head the whole time. It was like I wanted to help him. Oh, Balara, I'm so sorry. He's filled with the blight, and I think I am too. Rook. Maybe the Wardens can help you. I don't know. But we can't stop. We keep going, keep fighting, until Elgernon is dead. No, you can't. That's what I needed to tell you. When Elgernon was in my mind, I was kind of in his too. I could feel him. His mind, his magic, his life force. It's tied to the veil. His life is the only thing holding the veil in place. I felt the veil weaken when Gilanane fell. I expect that when Solus imprisoned the other gods, he bound them all thus. And now that Elganon is the only one left... If we kill him, the veil collapses. Which is why Solus gave me the dagger. Damn it! He said something about this in that memory of him binding the gods. I thought he was just stealing their magic. I didn't realize he meant it literally. We still have to kill Elgernon. So what can we do? Can we tie the veil to something else to keep it in place? For an enchantment like that, we'll need a specific substitute. The veil was made to be tied to the ancient elven gods. Then let's tie it to Solus. He's the only elven god left. Binding him will require drawing his blood with the Lyrium dagger. And I doubt he's going to like the idea. I sure hope he doesn't. After everything he's done, I'm looking forward to doing this the hard way. But it will be risky. What about this? 
The dagger we made while you were in the Fade. Once Elgernon is dead, odds are good that Solus will need to do something else to complete his ritual. This dagger looks identical, but it can't cut through enchantments like the real thing. So if he tries to use it... The backlash of such magic would render him helpless. Unless he notices. You really want to try a bait and switch on the Dreadwolf? Is there any chance, any chance at all, that he would listen to reason? Speaking from the heart, Inquisitor? Varric died trying to reason with him. As did Mithal when Solus took her power. But we have you, Morrigan. You have Mithal's memories. And we have the essence of the other fragment of Mithal, from the crossroads. Such power, even fragmented, is not to be taken lightly. Hold it for now. And when the time comes, if you believe the Dreadwolf's heart can be turned from this course, I shall try. All right. We can deal with Solus when the time comes, but we still need to stop Elgernon first. He's in the palace above us. We'll climb the Blight Tendril to get there. Once Solus takes down the Archdemon and renders Elgernon mortal, we hit him with everything we've got. Damn right we do. Time's running short. Stock up on supplies, pay your respects, and say goodbye to the people you love. Be ready to go when I signal. We didn't lose anybody. We hit the city that the Antom couldn't conquer and got out clean. We've even got Ballara back. We're gaining people. Don't call attention to our lucky streak. We'll need it at the Archon's palace. Thanks for keeping Harding safe. She takes risks when she gets mad. Harding takes risks when she gets mad? She's itching to take a shot at Elgernon. And probably Solus. We have to stay fast and careful. Once we surprise Elgernon inside his lair, we challenge him, let him get angry, and then kill him when he comes in hot. Nice. Hey, listen, you helped me figure out who I was. I'm not the Canari my mother would have wanted. I don't say all the words right, but maybe she'd be proud of me anyway. Chakra to Ebra, Tosh. I know she would. I'm a better person because of you. So, thanks. Now let's go kick some ass. You've got this. I'm helping the Shadow Dragons with supplies while they're shorthanded. Go on, pick out something nice. Enjoy the view up there. Oh, it is purest relief to see us all gathered safe and sound. We reunited with Bellara. What that poor girl has been through, and she still returned to the fray. Elgonon must fear what we might accomplish once we storm his tower. To come this far only to fail at the last minute? The irony will kill me before Elgernon can. Elgernon will be formidable, but it's Solus who truly worries me. He is, however, a former spirit. As such, Solus cannot help but listen to appeals to his nature, his yearning for reflection. I could try talking him down, once I find him. The spirits whisper. One way or another, I believe the Dread Wolf's tale draws to its conclusion. You have been a dear companion, Rook. You accompanied me through death, and were the first to witness my return. I shall never forget that, through the ages that follow. When this is over, you should write a book about it all. Oh, Bellara and I have exchanged notes on the subject. Of course. Onwards, Rook. The gods await.
How are you feeling, Ballara? Everyone filled me in, told me about everything that happened since I've been gone. It, it's a lot. I knew Elgrenon was doing something. I could feel it through the blight. I just didn't know how big it was, how awful it was. But most everyone's still alive, still fighting. That's more than I could have hoped for, more than I expected. So, um, okay, I think. Look, at this point, I'll take okay. Could be a lot worse. Given everything we faced, okay is better than okay. And the Blight? How's it feeling? Like it's tying itself around me. It's in my blood, in my head. I feel it whispering to me. But it doesn't get to decide how my story goes. Even if it's only got a few chapters left. Let's make the most of each one of them and give it the happiest ending we can manage. Varric liked to say everything was a story. Helped him make sense of all of it. I always wanted to meet him. He sounded smart and kind. Yeah, he was. Rook, thank you. For what? For helping me put the ghosts of the past to rest. Now let's go kill a god. Lucanus, everything all right? We have made it here and fared well in the fight. Now we only have to wait. But Spike grows impatient. As do I. This may be the calm before a final storm, but I don't feel it. I'm on edge myself, so I couldn't expect anyone here not to be. Perhaps. It won't be much longer. Elgrenon's life is measured in hours. As for Solas, if any deserve to set his fate, it's you. But if it were me, I would not banter. I would not give room for lies and false promises. Find your opening and strike. The cost of mercy is too high when others might die in its wake. Whatever happens, my contract was for the blighted gods. Today it is fulfilled. It's no small feat. How does it feel? I'll know better when it's more than words. Rook, I left the ossuary only to lose so much again. My city, my family. But what I've managed to reclaim, I have you to thank for. Zara thought she could take my life and control it. When this is done, Spite will have his life and I will have mine. And it will be only mine again. Of course Solus lied to us. Again. I expect it, and yet I'm surprised every time. But we're chipping away at Elgernon's forces. I thought that was impossible. He commands armies, and he's a god. Really close to one, anyway. We even got Bulara back. I keep thinking. Something has to go wrong somewhere. Right? Sounds like you want something to go wrong. Looking for a bigger challenge, Harding? No, no. A clear win is fine by me. Before this ends, in case things don't work out, I want you to know that I'm grateful for you. You help me see that I don't have to run from my anger, that I can use it to fight for what's good. Just one final push to the palace. We're so close, Rook. For Varric, for all that he meant to us. I'm ready. Let's finish this. Nev, how are you holding up? I've seen reports from the city. 
the last... But more are still standing than I might have bet on. Every person who gets through this is a win. We started this together, and... Now we stay focused, cross our fingers, and keep our guard up. There's more on your mind. This started with Solus. It will end there, too. He played mind games with you, targeted emotions, then went right for the heart. People with power, sometimes it's best not to play their games. Other times you need to play them smarter. However this plays out, I'm with you, Trouble. Right to the end. I couldn't do this without you. Sure you could. But it wouldn't be as fun. <laughs> Rook, before we go, I... It's all right. I love you. I love you too. Good. Now let's finish this job. A word, Rook? Any last advice from Mithal? Tis a difficult battle you face, but you are among more allies than you know. You have purified the crossroads, uncovered ancient truths lost for ages, and earned the essence of Mithal. You are truly the champion of the Fade. Take this. Should your fight against Elganon grow desperate, invoke the memories of the Dreadwolf's rebels. For you, they will stand against tyranny one last time. Bad news, everyone. Elganon's forces are gathering outside. They mean to prevent you from reaching their master. Our people will set up barricades, and we'll hold the enemy as long as we can. You need to start climbing. One of us should help. I'm going up there. I owe Elganon for what he did. You go to face a guard, Rook, but any aid you might spare would be welcomed. Tosh, you up for it? Yep. We'll be cheering for you, Rook. All my best.
way up. got their job, we've got ours. We need to focus on the throne room. He might betray us after, but he'll do whatever it takes to stop Elgernon.
the job, didn't we? I'm glad you were there. That you're still here. Back at you, Lace. Now we finish this. Look out! The throne room. Knowing Elgernon, we'll find him there. Rook! You made it! Elgernon's using the Magisters to control the Blight, just like he used me. They're directing all of it at Solus. He won't make it without our help. How do you know? I can still feel it. Hear it. The Blight? I'll help Solus. Just get to the throne room.
just ahead. Everybody ready? I'm with you, Trouble. All the way. Let's finish this. unwitting imitation of the empire I built. I would have restored the glory your lives are too brief to remember. I saw Demetta's crossing and Weishaupt, and everywhere else you've left your mark. I didn't see any glory. All I saw was a tyrant destroying everything he touches. <laughs> you mistake discipline for cruelty. A failing among those who lack a master's gentle guidance. We only destroyed because you resisted. In the new empire, every child would have blossomed under my protection. And Gilanane, my brilliant sister, would have forged the blight into a tool of beauty. But she is dead. And all we have is this. Because of you.
control lives, I am invulnerable. Yet still you fight. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts. If you will not bow, you will burn. Creature in existence! 
It is done. The world owes you a debt, both for defeating Elganan and for bringing down the Veil. I am sorry for this final betrayal, but I will do what I can to minimize the damage. When you see the old world restored... <laughs> Please, Rook. I do not wish to fight against you. I don't want to fight you either. But I don't want to see the world go through even more pain on top of what Elgernon has done. Do you? This world is broken, Rook. Because of my mistakes. You're right. You do need to make up for the damage you've done. But breaking the world again is the wrong way to do it. Letting the veil collapse... ...is what you want. Making amends isn't about what you want. You have a chance right now to save the world. Bind yourself to the veil and stop it from falling.
I cannot. To stop now would dishonor those I have wronged to come this far. Even if those you wronged asked you to stop? Venom. You think you've gone too far to come back? But you're wrong. I am here, walking the Denan Sheral with you. I lied. I betrayed you. I forgive you. All you have to do is stop. Irabalas, Renan. But I cannot. Long before we met, I failed my oldest friend. She died for that failure. If I leave the veil in place, I am destroying the world she wanted. And I will have... She will have died for nothing. And whose fault is that, Dreadwolf? Morrigan. One appellation among many I wear. I have been advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds, daughter of Flemeth. And once, long ago, an old friend. Mythal lives on in her, and in this. <laughs> Mythal. I pulled you from the Fade you loved and sent you into war. I used your wisdom as a weapon, and it broke you. The things that I have done... ...are not for you alone to bear, my friend. The many wrongs we did, we did together. I release you from my service. Banal Nadas, Arlathma, Venan. <laughs> My life force now sustains the veil. With every breath I take, I will protect the innocent from my past failures. The Titan's dreams are mad from their imprisonment. I cannot kill the Blight, but I can help to soothe its anger. I will go and seek atonement. But you do not have to go alone. Arkelas vir banal. Tel banal arama vir sheral malasa belanaris. Thank you, Rook.
With Elgernon and Gillanane dead, and the Inquisitor finally reunited with her true love, it looked like one of the biggest stories this world had ever seen was finally drawing to a close. The story of the Veil Guard, a team of heroes who stood strong against evil, no matter the cost. Whatever it takes. But whenever one story ends, another begins. Like the story of the Grey Wardens, clearing the remains of the Blight so that the flowers can grow again. Or the story of Archon Mavaris Talani, inspiring her people and bringing change to Tavinta. Or the story of a caretaker standing watch for new heroes. For the Antivan Crows, it would be a story of bringing a traitor to justice and reclaiming Treviso from the Blight. Among the Veil Jumpers, the fall of the last elven gods meant Arlathan was reborn. At their heart, stories are about change. A man exploring worlds beyond mortal existence. A woman standing watch against anyone that would threaten Darktown. An assassin driving out the darkness in his city and himself. A student of history helping the elves put past evils behind them forever. A dragon hunter rediscovering their heritage from a place of strength. Or the Griffins, finding a new home in Arlathan, protecting a world that once thought them lost for good. Or the anguish of finally understanding the Titans and forever altering those who carry the memory. There are stories of love, but those stories aren't over. And we will always be grateful to those whose stories brought us where we are today. And those whose stories will live on with us forever.